Hi everyone,、uh, my name is Rei Nakadate from Kazi USA. I'd like to show you how to disassemble and assemble a differential today. Here I got one、uh, little differential.、Uh, one thing I want to say is whether it's a big unit with 16 plates, 20 plates, or this small unit like this is only 8 plates, the basic procedure for disassembling and assembling is identical.、Uh, to start,、uh, if you have a big vise like this, it makes everything really easy. Uh, once you set the differential onto the device,、uh, you can unscrew the hex key screws. Make sure you use a formula hex key like this, a long one. The more the bar can flex, the better and less chance of stripping the screws. Once all the screws are out, you can take the diff out of the device, and when you set it on the table, Put the cap side on the bottom side, and then all you have to do is lift off the casing, and the whole internal will come out. Inside looks like this. First piece that goes back in together is this little thrust washer,、It、goes in the middle, then the cone spring. Okay, make sure they, it's caved this way. Next, the clutch plate goes back in. We have other videos showing how to adjust the differential, so please take a look at those. Next, the cam, cam goes back in, but make sure this ramp area on this cam will show on the hole on the side of the casing.、Okay. Uh, this is necessary for proper oiling of the differential.、Okay. Then one of the side gear goes back in. Make sure it goes all the way in. And then the cross pinion shaft and the little pinion gears go s back in. On some model, there's a direction on this、uh, cross pinion shaft, so please take a note when you disassemble it. Otherwise,、uh, you will not be able to. Put it back together correctly. And next, we're going to put the other side gear back in. This piece just sits on here, and then after that, the other side of the cam goes back in.、Yeah. Once everything's in, you can put the、uh, second set of the plates on the other side. And the cone spring from this side goes in. And then this side also has a little thrust washer. So this goes back in. And、uh, all the cars unit, there's a little alignment mark on the side of the casing. Please make sure you align that and put the case,、uh, cap back together. Okay.、And、then all you have to do is put this hex key back,、uh, back in there. And you can just hand tight it, or you can, if you want to use the torque wrench, it's going to be 10 foot pounds of force. And if you're just going to hand tie this,、uh, don't worry about this coming loose because the ring gear is going to sit on top of this, so this will never come out during the operation. And that applies to every model in our product line. Okay, it's pretty simple, it's all done. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, for more information, please go to our website, kazusa.com, or follow us on Instagram and Facebook.